Hey guys, welcome back to World of Warships. The update has dropped, and this video will be about Columbo. Don't you worry, I want to try that thing out with its new buffs. We're also, of course, gonna have to take a look at the ships with submarine surveillance, all that good stuff to come soon. But first, a little PSA about the Cecilia. I added some comments below the video yesterday, but I do need you to understand what is so strange about this ship. 24 degrees right now, down to about 22 degrees is where we can fire from normally, right? Normal stuff here, okay? This ship has excellent OP firing angles even. You are pretty much perfectly auto mounts territory here, okay? It's very, very good, these angles. As soon as we get within 10 kilometers, that was the cutoff point last time, we actually just have a, we can't fire our guns. Um, we can't fire the rear guns. So you're gonna see here 10 kilometers and you're gonna see these two go a little bit grayed out, a little darker. And uh, that is, there we go. There goes one and there goes the other. Okay, we can't fire them. 9.5 kilometers, still dark, can't fire them. But we just fired them. Hmm. <laughs> what is going on here? I have no clue. I have no idea what's going on here, okay? Maybe, uh, I don't even know, man. I hypothesized, or I thought I knew how it worked. I thought this turret here was blocking the third turret, and for whatever reason, the fourth turret was just along for the ride, coded the exact same way. But no, I'm gonna do it again. In fact, I'm gonna show you a very weird thing. I'm gonna hold mouse one. Typically, that is gonna fire one turret after another. And now we can't fire our back two turrets. What happens if I double click now? Yep. Yep. If you hold mouse one, it acts like normal, right? Where the grayed out turrets can't work. But as soon as you double click, it goes. I do not understand. Um, I submitted a bug report thing on the CC Discord. I am yet to hear back from them. This is really strange. I think, I hope, that they change it so you just always have these angles, because uh, then Cecilia is going to be pretty awesome. Brawling like this with these turn angles is going to be great. Now, what about times where we actually can't fire? Even though uh, it says we can't, we can. Uh, <laughs> I found around seven kilometers was the actual cutoff point here. So if we come forward here a little bit more, 7.8, 7.7, .7. it's somewhere around here. I think 7.3 was where I wanted to be at. So again, turrets are grayed out. 7.3, double click, gets three of the turrets. Notice our third turret didn't fire. So there's a weird point in the middle here where we can't fire this third turret, but we can fire the fourth turret. And I was hoping that would be the change where just because the fourth turret has so much room, much like we see on a Schlieffen, we would actually be able to uh, fire that fourth turret, but not get the third one at closer ranges. That could have been an interesting balancing decision for a ship that wants to play at close range, and it would be pretty strong at close range if it had access to those rear turrets. So again, we are at 6.7 and only fire the front turrets. I am double clicking here, all right? Double clicking, nothing is happening. Uh, you might not even be able to hear that, but maybe that comes through the mic. I actually don't know, but I'm trying to double click and uh, nothing is coming through, but we get ourselves back to 7.1, 7.3-ish is around where the cutoff point is. I'm going to let myself actually uh, fully reload. I'm just going to spam mouse one and you're going to see, hopefully, that it all fires. And it all fires. Double click, right? So now what happens if I hold mouse one, okay? That's what I'm gonna do. We're just gonna hold mouse one and see what happens. Just to show, I just have to show you guys this. I know this is supposed to be about Columbo. We're gonna get to that. But Cecilia is weird. It is very weird. Okay, eight seconds left, here we go. I'm gonna click and hold mouse one. Hopefully this comes through. I don't know if that came through. Uh, but I'm holding it. And the rear guns don't fire. 
again. Now we double click and they fire. It's consistent. It is consistent. Uh, it's very weird, but it is consistent. So is it a bug? Is it a feature? I don't know. But if Cecilia has these turret angles and is able to fire its rear turrets at these absurdly sharp angles at seven kilometers and above, this ship's going to be amazing. Uh, you're going to be able to brawl very, very well. But as soon as we lose half of our gunpower at 10 kilometers, let's say, if the UI is to be believed, this ship is pretty rough to play. I'm going to play it some more, I guess, now that this thing is known about for me. Uh, trying to stay outside of seven kilometers will be the goal. So that still allows us to get some secondaries going, as we can see here. And maybe this ship is going to be good because of that. Um, but very strange. Hopefully we can hear back from Wargaming about this ship. Feels bad that I didn't catch this while I was playing the ship, uh, but I try to go in pretty blind with these things. I'm surprised this got through testing like this too. Um, not sure how that's even possible, but hey, there is Cecilia for you. Let's go play some Columbo. All right, guys, finally taking a look at the Columbo with some sap and the improved turret angles. So what did they change with Columbo? Well, you get your turret angles back, back to uh, 22 degrees, I think, just like the uh, Cecilia should have, maybe, we'll see. Uh, the other thing we get is 1.6 Sigma instead of 1.5, so a nice little buff there. And our rudder shift is gone from 18 seconds to 15.3, so we're a little more maneuverable as well. All very nice things to see and hopefully results in a better ship here. And I think it will. I do. I really do. Try and smash this Napoli a little bit. I mean, that's much better dispersion. We already got, like, nearly 10k out of this guy. Enemy sub. Another six. That seems okay. S Thunder. Hmm. Enemy Columbo could be interesting to go after. Don't have range on that guy, though. So you can actually sit bow in in this ship and kind of just play off of uh, your 360 rear turrets. Uh, Columbo looks like he's kind of waiting for us. But honestly, that's fine. Let's just go after him. Oh, we don't even get spotted. Nice. All right, what are we going to do? It's not the best dispersion. Okay, we're going to do zero. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's kind of funny. Oh, this Des Moines could be good to go after. Is that even worth swapping to AP for? No, not at that angle. 36 degrees? I won't trust it. But we will send some sap his way. I think he's going to reverse, actually. We're going to go like that. Come on, sap. 18. Not bad. Not bad. Our team is not doing so good, though. Um, <laughs> yikes. That's okay. Okay, we can get some more games in. So here's the thing, right? Bow on Des Moines is going to be a bit of an issue. Although he reversed around the corner. That's broadside. 23k from the sap. We might have killed him. Not sure. It might have killed him. If we'd actually had uh, AP there. Would have had to get some citadels. AP Columbo. Interesting. Wow, and he gets a citadel, I think? Rear guns. That was some nasty dispersion. I think he did get a citadel. Alright, Mr. Kaba. Gonna have to go for a turn eventually here, right? Yeah, come on. Oh, I went too soon. My front guns aren't available for me right now. That's okay. Torpedoes direct front. Nice. Dodge the gearing. Take that. Early damage control, perhaps. 
especially considering Cabotorps are coming, but we might be able to dodge them. Okay, that guy is gone. Enemy destroyer sunk. Now, dealing with an Amagi, Des Moines, and a Gearing. Torpedoes to starboard. Problem solved, sir. Um, oh, he did put him in a good spot. I think he gets me. Okay, we're gonna forget that game happened. No, video game. Oh, video game. Why? Holy crap. Okay. Um, maybe I'm gonna include that first game because that's gonna be the best one we get. I need to ask for a EU press account. I think. I think NA is just dead. I, I can't play on this server anymore, man. <laughs> like, what is this? What is this? Do I, do I just like Alt F4? Like, I think that's the only answer here, man. Like, for real. I do not want to play this. Yikes, man. All right, well, if I did not include the first game, we're going to take a look at Columbo. I mean, let's be honest. Am I really going to put this game in a video? There's no way it's going to be good. Okay, well, maybe, maybe, okay. Taking a look at Columbo, what buffs did we get? 1.6 Sigma up from 1.5, kind of nice. We'll see how that impacts our dispersion. Also getting the 10 degrees of uh, turret traverse, should say hi. Uh, 10 degrees of turret firing angles here, very nice to see. Uh, the other thing is 15.3 second rudder shift instead of 18 seconds. So we're more maneuverable, we should be a bit more accurate and we can fire our guns at a steeper angle. All good things. Fortunately, we don't have to deal with the Cecilia bugs right now. Notice how we can fire these turrets all at these really sharp angles, even at six kilometers, for example. So pretty powerful firing angles here. Should be pretty good. Um, but we're gonna rush in and uh, see what we can accomplish. Sap can do some decent damage to subs, although I feel like we're just gonna get shotgunned and that is gonna be our game. All right, Mr. Kremlin, bow on. Not the best for us, but hey, that's all right. Can angle reasonably well to him. Ooh, only four hits there. Into a bow on Kremlin, not great, not great. Let's see, Moskva. Torpedoes, direct front. Ooh, there he is. Torpedoes, dead ahead. All right, give me a spotter and some AP, perhaps, into the Moskva, and we'll go back to the Sap here. Looks pretty bad, but it's a lot of shells. Yeah, it's pretty bad, it's pretty bad. Okay, good. Do we get another chance to drop this guy? Perhaps. We'll use the faster swap time we get from Sansonetti here. Oh, okay, he's just dead. Nice. Very nice. Now, better turret angles mean we should be able to shoot at this guy without exposing as much of our broadside. Let's see, he gets a 12k hit. See, look at that, we do 20k to him. I mean, that's pretty good. 20k there is very nice. Our AA is much worse, okay? That is fair. We don't have the American turrets like uh, Cecilia does. Kinsey's gonna shoot us again. Gremlin's shooting us again, that's fine. Look at us pushing though. Carrier double, triple sub game. Didn't even realize triple sub games were possible. Apparently they are. 6k only. Nice. Let's go, Sap. Doing some work. That's what we like to see. No range. However, he's just chilling on the surface. Sap's got a reasonable splash radius, I think. 
Hmm. Maybe he dove. Or we just missed. That's fine. Either way. Either way is fine. Wow, 12k. I will gladly smoke that, since the carrier seems to want to come for us. Yep. No problem. Gladly smoke that. Now, how thirsty is he? Is he parched in the desert thirsty, or is he a sensible player? Hey, he's a sensible player. He's going to go after the Ami. Nice. Sometimes they don't. <laughs> Sometimes they don't. Sometimes they've been in the desert for a few days. Now, Mr. GK, what are we going to do about you? I suppose we'll just smack your superstructure real quick. 15k. That's okay. That's all right. It's not amazing. It's all right. I will swap to the AP here. It's broadside enough. So, with our improved accuracy, it should be... I mean, this should be like a Cecilia salvo, right? If everything gets passed. I think only one got eaten. Oh, wow. Okay. Well, the sub just kills him for free then, I guess. Nice. Seventy-two K is not great. But I suppose that's where we're at for damage. This is another blowout, by the way. Just our team wins it. What is going on with the NA server, man? Uh, I don't know, guys. I guess I try again, but I can't just play all day to try and get one mediocre game in Colombo. <laughs> you know what? I'll take double sub matchmaker. I'll take it. As long as it's not a blowout, I'll take it. So if I haven't mentioned it, the reason the accuracy is a bigger deal here on Colombo is that we don't care as much about hitting citadels. We just want to hit more shells on the hull of the enemy ships, right? Because you get four full pens and you get 16,000 damage, right? Like, that's pretty nasty. Um, okay. You think he's going to go broadside? No, he's going to turn in. Interesting. Sure, that's fine. I will wait. We can be patient. One of the excellent things about this ship. Seems that the enemy sub is somewhere around here. Smoked him up to turn. Wow. Some team play. You love to see it. Five full pens, five over pens. Too bad no citadels in there. That's okay, it happens. It happens. Those are gearing torps, they're gonna last quite a while. Okay, get some spotter plane action. Yamato broadside. Should be a reasonable target to go after. I'm pretty broadside as well. But I think we turn in in time. 15k. That's pretty nice. Not, like, amazing, but decent. And he's still broadside enough that we should get some decent hits here. And the longer your range is, honestly, you can get some pretty nasty plunging fire, too, into people. Okay, or we'll just bounce a few. That's fine. Um, Columbo on the flank. These guys are in a div, I guess. So they'll be trying to coordinate, I suppose. Torpedoes, direct front. Torpedoes Sub deport. surveillance up, and we don't see anything. Weird. Torpedoes to port. Torpedoes, 
Okay, he's got a pretty accurate salvo. Fortunately, we dodge it. Edgar mid, though. Hmm. One hit. That's fine. At least we have smoke in like 30 seconds-ish. That's pretty handy. Alright, like we can afford to play bow in like this. As long as we have that smoke available to us. I don't trust my AP even though I got citadeled. So we're going to try and sap. Columbo while he's broadside. Turn into this. Four hits. I mean, we're not really doing that great, are we? Kind of disappointing, I ain't gonna lie, with the uh, damage output. Alright, fine. Oof, 11k there sucks. And we will gladly use our damage control so those don't home in on us. So, you know, like the tools are decent here. Um, man, it just feels like we're just not landing those salvos like I would expect out of a Sigma buff, you know? I guess it's not much, it's only point one, but 16 guns. Should be able to do some work. Even if these guys are just like kiting off the map, right? I don't know. It's weird. I'm wasting the rest of this smoke, I know. Yeah, like 8k from four full pens? I, I don't know. Seems kind of bad. And of course, we have the issue of the uh, shot trap here. Yeah, he does like, there's like 15k back to us, even though we're angled. Uh, okay, well, maybe, maybe I just don't like these Italian battleships. Maybe that's it, you know? That's okay. Surprised that I haven't been spotted by uh, Napoli yet, actually. All right, let's try again. Yamato, it's pretty far range, but hey, maybe. Oh, there's Napoli. Four full pens. Yeah, maybe, maybe I just don't like Italian battleships now, guys. I don't know. It's odd. Feels like they should be doing a little better. But maybe I played too passive this one. I don't know. Although we are getting some broadsides here. I mean, what do we do to this Napoli? It's damage, certainly. No Citadel is pretty annoying. Okay, gearing. I expect him to turn out a bit. Blame a little high. Oh, he turned in. Our dispersion might still get him. Okay. Hey, we got him. And a kill. Might be a bit greedy here, grabbing the AP against a broadside Yamato or Columbo, but hey, we'll see. Pretty far range, but of course we don't get uh, sap full pens on DDs. It's only over pens when you're playing a battleship with sap. So that's why you don't get as much. And it's not as big a deal to swap to AP or shoot AP at a DD when you're playing something like a Columbo. Because you get over pens either way. All right. Um, I'm going to call that okay. I'm going to call that okay. And uh, hopefully we'll see some more of this thing. Uh, if I can get some good games, though. Yikes. Hey, look at that. Dreadnought. We got shot out a bunch. Yeah, SF had a nice game. I mean, that's like... Pretty disappointing hit ratio. <laughs> Ah, oh, man, like, all right. Okay. That is how it goes sometimes. Columbo is back. It is buffed. It's still probably quite bad. We'll see about uh, Cecilia. Pretty interested to see what Wargaming responds to that. Still haven't uh, heard anything back, though, unfortunately. Um, but if it stays as it is, you know, bugged out the way it is, it's better than I thought, okay? Having the turret angles helps a ton. Uh, but I think that's going to do it for today's video. Uh, is there anything else? Oh, I guess I could just let you guys know, do not buy this pass. Um, 
I was debating not even getting it, even though Wargaming gives it to me for free. Like, they credit me the doubloons to just buy it myself. There's, like, nothing good here. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, it's more expensive than it used to be, and there's less in it. Um, I guess that's how... I mean, maybe World of Warships is just experiencing a ton of inflation, too. But uh, it seems like a make-believe currency shouldn't really be inflated that much. I don't know. Something something economy in game, something something uh bad value, I guess. <laughs> Sorry guys. Um I'm gonna end the video there. I'm kinda my brain's all over the place, I guess, today. I apologize. I hope you guys enjoyed regardless, and have a great rest of your day.